Yo, what's up everybody? Ray Reese, Reese's Masterpieces. Um, just got done teaching a class and it has already been one of those days. Like it's 11.30 in the morning and it's already been one of those days. Um, first, um, my block is gonna is, has construction going on it, right? And whole week, today's Monday, so all of last week they were um, put. They had signs put up like, "Don't don't park here. Uh, Going to get towed." Construction. So I knew that today was the day. Now I didn't have to put it in my calendar because the signs is everywhere. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the signs are everywhere on my block. So I was like, yeah. Um, last night, um, parked my car, block away, no signs, right? I go to bed last night, there's mad cars out there. And I'm like, there's no way these folks are moving their vehicles by 6 a.m. Um, sure enough, I wake up this morning, cops just, you know, move your vehicles, whoop, whoop, whoop. Move your vehicles, you will be towed. Then you can hear the construction vehicles coming, then you can hear the tow trucks. And I'm like, you know, chances are most of the folks who were on my side of the street got their cars moved in time. I think people were going around ringing bells and all that, right? Um, because at least if it's people that live there, then they would have they would have heard everything. But folks that were like visiting people on some other block that parked their cars there, yeah folks is going to be salty um and so my car i moved it block away i'm not well not a whole block away, but like on the next block right um i come out this morning you know i'm looking my block is cleared say for like two cars and uh, the tow truck is out there, construction joints is out there. I go to get my car, which is on the next block. My car is the only car on that block. There's like construction vehicles around it and the streets getting torn up. And I guess, I guess, they were supposed to be, they're, they're doing construction on that block and they just didn't put signs up. So they, maybe they really couldn't tow, but I wouldn't know. See, here's the thing. I know somebody rang my bell this morning, but I was like, I'm not answering it because 99% of the time, like more, 100% of the time, it's either people looking for my upstairs neighbor because their visitors are, it's, the upstairs neighbors are, are a piece of work. 100% of the time, it's somebody that has the wrong bell or it's somebody soliciting. So I'm like, I'm not even answering. Um, but anyway, if somebody was like, if somebody was trying to find out whose car my car was, they would probably have been ringing the bells on the, uh, the other block. Luckily, I get my car and take off out of there. Nonetheless, I'm a bit rattled because one, hey, <laughs> my car was like surrounded by construction equipment. Uh, one, two, it's not my car. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> this, it's a lease. I can't have that joint being, uh, uh, or, uh, you know, towed and whatever. I just can't. Um, it's not even a lease. It's whatever. It's a it's a vehicle through through Lyft. Whoever I don't own the car. I don't own the car, so I can't have it getting towed and then trying it. Whatever. I just can't afford it. Um, then I'm driving to work. Right, driving to work. Everything's okay. And then I realize for like the third day in a row. I forgot my water bottle. I have this huge 
bottle, this like near gallon of water that I've been putting in the freezer because it's, what is it? It's August. It's like 100 degrees. And since I'm driving around all day, I want to have some water that I can drink that's not 85 degrees from sitting in the center console or whatever. And what happens is I'll freeze it overnight. I will take it out in the morning uh, prematurely, thinking that I'm about to you know, leave the house and go. So it'll sit out while I'm getting ready, while I'm emailing, da 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 da. Then I gotta go shower, get ready. And by the time I'm ready to leave the house, it's kind of, it's kind of watery. So then I put it back in to give it a little more coldness. Um, and that's where it goes to shit because once it goes back in the freezer, I forget that it's in there when it's finally, finally time for me to leave the house. So, get to, get to work, gotta wait for a parking spot, no big deal. Um, you know, go to get ready to teach class. Mm, previous class isn't out of the out of the uh, the studio in time for me to set up on time. Eh, no big deal. But I I tell you this: while I love my coworker and I love helping them out, this is. This is painful. It is just, it is, it is just painful because it'll be a mixture of like 19 year olds and 91 year olds and Um, and then one or two people that, um, whose comprehension skills are maybe a bit mm, challenged. <clears throat> Sorry, my, and my voice is, uh, my voice has been taking it just because I've been teaching so many classes and I've been like shouting over the music and whatever and I, I should know better because I was trained in theater and I used to, yeah, but just some of these setups are just so disadvantageous. But anyway, you know, uh, teaching, teaching this class is always a challenge because You've got like the people that aren't physically able to do what is in your general template. So you have to like modify everything. It's like you're teaching two different classes. So it's not like you're just modifying a single thing. They need modification for everything. Um, then you've got the other folks who, you know, don't want to do the thing that you're doing because it's not some sort of cross fitty tough, muttery, burpy bullshit, um, you know, and then they go trying to modify and make things more challenging and they're just doing things wrong. They're ignoring the purpose of the exercise, you know, and I tell people before the class, like, this is what you should be using. You know, if, if the weights are too light, then do the exercise faster or get heavier weights. Don't just do a different exercise. Then you have the people, so you have the people that can't do what you ask, the people that won't do what you've asked and the people who don't understand what you said. And it's 
always a ch- it's it's the most mentally draining um it's the the most mentally draining thing that I have to do but it has to be done it has to be done but just a combination of the car the water bottle and this has just been like oh <laughs> It's just one of those days. Again, I am, I am blessed. I am very, very grateful to have the opportunities that I have. And I look forward to many more. But whoa. <laughs> this is, this, this is the, um, the stuff that we have to endure. Like, it's, it may, it, to, to somebody else who's, you know, working in an office and has an overbearing boss or whatever, whatever, um, you know, I get how some of the things that I'm chatting about may seem, you know, frivolous or whatever, inconsequential. Or if you hear about like a multimillionaire complaining that his yacht still isn't ready, you know, it can be hard to relate, but that's their version. This is this is my version of my. It's not a bad day. It's just one of those days, um, and it's just meh, what has happened. You know, um, but next week I have another checkup. Hopefully. That is going well. I haven't been as on the wagon as I would have liked. I was hopefully going to be improving from uh, my previous checkup, and I don't, I don't know, I don't know how well I did. I know that I've just been busy and um, just not working out as much because I've been teaching a lot. But we'll have to see, and then have to make adjustments accordingly. I just want to not be on any more medication so all right that's it thank you all for listening watching ray reese reese's masterpieces see ya bye bye